Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the fourth category of function, that is, function with parameter and return value. So, here if you are considering the function, that is, the calling function is going to send values to the called function, that is, the parameters to the called function, and the called function also will return the result to the calling function. Okay, so this is the fourth category of function. So, here the function that passes the parameter and returns a value. Both it will happen here. So, here when parameters are passed in the sense, the called function will receive values. Okay. So, the called function will receive the parameters from calling function. And the called function returns a value to the calling function also. Okay. So, the function that returns a value can be used in expression that is return of a plus b into c. Likewise, any expression we can use. So, this will return the value to the calling function or use along with printf statement. That is, printf some value you ask to print a in the sense and then return. If you are using in the sense, this is another way of returning value to the calling function. Externally, if you are checking in the sense, it is not returning any value. But internally, if you are considering in the sense, it prints the value in the output screen itself and that will only, it will return to the calling function. And then using assignment statement, that is, sum is equal to A plus B, return sum. In this way also, you can able to return. Okay. So, the function that returns a value can be used in expression, printf statement or assignment statement. Okay. And the result is displayed in the main function. So, the result, it will receive the result from the called function to the calling function. And the received result, it will display in the output screen in main function only, with the help of main function only. Okay. So, here if you are considering in the sense, call is usually a postfix expression, which has a value that is returned from the function. Postfix expression means the function expression will be printed after calculation only. Okay. So, here the call is usually a postfix expression and which has a value that is written from the function. Okay. It will receive the result and then only it will print to the output screen. So, this is nothing but function with parameter and return value. And here if you are considering simply you can return A equal to B. So, this is also an expression. This expression we can use with an assignment statement. Okay. So, in this way also we can able to implement return statement along with assignment statement. Return of A equal to B. So, the value B will be stored with A. Or return of sum is equal to A plus B. So, this also it will return. Okay. So, in this way we can able to implement return state. Next up. This is an example. Here we have declared the header file. And this is nothing but the function declaration or function prototype. And here, this statement is nothing but the function call. That is the calling function. Okay. And this is nothing but function header. And this is nothing but function body part. This represents the start of the function and this represents the end of the function. And this is nothing but the function body. And this whole user defined function is function definition. So, this function declaration, function call, and function definition are the three elements of user defined function already we know. And there are two parts in function definition one is function header, and another one is function body. Okay. And this is the return statement. So, here if you are considering the function declaration, since the function passes parameter, we have added parameter in this parenthesis. Okay. Int A and int B. A is of integer data type and B is also of integer data type. Since there are more than one arguments, we have separated with comma. And then add is the function name. Int is nothing but the return data type of this function. And this function declaration should end with a semicolon. And if you are considering the main function, here we have declared three variables. A and B are the variables used to get input from the user. And sum is the variable to store the 
result of this calling function. Okay. And then print the sum return. So here, when the function is called in the sense, so this add is the function name and A and B are nothing but the parameters or arguments. So when this function is called, immediately control will be transferred to the called function. And this is the called function. Okay. So once a function is called, it will allow the user defined function to execute completely. So here, meaning is, this one line statement will replace this complete code here. We need to assume like that. Okay. This one line statement completely it will replace the user defined function line by line. Okay. That is meaning is internally it will complete the execution of user defined function and then only control will be transferred to the other statements in the main function. So here when this function is called, this is a calling function. When this function is called, control will be transferred to the user defined function. And in this user defined function, what is the value of this A and what is the value of this B that will be copied to these two variables? Actually, this A and B are nothing but the actual parameter, and this A and B are nothing but the formal parameters. So the formal parameters will copy the values from the actual parameters. Okay, and then we have declared sum as the integer variable. This is the local declaration and user defined function. Then add the value of a plus b and store the result with sum. Okay. Then return the sum value. So here once we have added the return statement meaning us the user defined function has completed its execution. So immediately control will be transferred to the calling function. And what is the result it holds that will be transferred here. So, the result of this sum will be transferred here and that will be copied to this variable, left hand side variable. So, now if you are asking to print this sum means, so it will print the output. After printing, just the main function will return. That is, it will return control to the operating system. Now, the program execution is completed. That is the meaning. Okay. So, this is nothing but function with the parameter and also returns a value. So, here the calling function is sending or passing parameter to the called function. So, there is a data transfer from the calling function to the called function. Similarly, the called function is returning value to the calling function. So, here there is a data transfer from called function to calling function. So, this is a two-way communication. Calling function is also communicating to called function and called function is also replying to calling function. Okay. So, this is nothing but function with parameter and return value. Okay. So, in this session, we have discussed the function with parameter and return value. So, this is the fourth category of function. So, now we have completed the four categories of function with example in detail. If you understand the four categories of function, that is function without parameter without return value, function with the parameter without return value and function without parameter with return value and then function with the parameter and with return value. So, if you understand these four categories along with its logic properly, then we can able to implement any program using function under any one of these categories. So, in the next session, we will move on to the topic, what is actual parameter and what is formal parameter? We will discuss in detail. Thank you for watching this video. 